All right, a classic. Even when the Obama sequester takes effect on Friday, it's because the president was more concerned with fear-mongering than finding a solution to the problem that he himself created. Joining me now with some insight, Democratic Congressman Keith Ellison of Minnesota. Congressman, welcome back, sir. You bet. Uh, I guess he's, that's what we could describe as staying on message, uh, something the Democratic Party, I would argue, is very good at. Let me ask You're you. You're pretty good at it, too. I, I, well, I mean, thank you. you know, quite frankly, you are the worst excuse for a journalist I've ever seen. This I am the worst. Sir, the I worst. can't hear you. You heard me. I didn't know. Say it again. I didn't hear you. I heard you. I mean, what you just displayed was not journalism. It was yellow journalism. It wasn't anything close to trying to tell the American people what's really going on. And, I mean, it's just shocking. To yellow me. journalism? The, the, to play you, Obama yes. in his own words is yellow journalism? No. Well, with the background music and with your lead up before you you let the president talk, let me tell you, I was here. The pre everything the president said is absolutely true, yeah. and for you to try to make the American people think that it isn't is deceptive on your part, well, and it's a breach of everything. Cons every 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 journalistic ethic I have ever heard of was just violated by you. And the really? president was truthful. The president was honest. The president, what the president said, was dead on accurate. And for you to say the president is to blame here is ridiculous. I was there August 2011 when the Republicans, your party, which you shamelessly I'm not a Republican. represent, Let me you, are the you are nothing but a Republican. I'm a, no, no, you're, and, well, yes, sir, you are. Sir, yes, you are. Sir, I'm you a are. registered. I'm and, a re and, well, sir. Well, let me just say, I no, am not no, a registered I'm Republican. You, I'm a registered you are, conservative. You are a shill for the Republican Party. I am a registered and conservative, you sir. Them constantly. You uh, alibi them 100% of the time. Keep going. Keep ranting. Else. Okay. Well, good. Let me just say this. Keep what the ranting. president said is that what the president said is absolutely true. The president, the people watching this show should ignore all of the all of the commentary that you put in and all of the uh, hype music that you put on and should pay attention to what the president actually said, because what the president said was true. The president, you, by the way, are inaccurate when you say that the president is to blame here. He's not. It was the Republicans in August 2011 said that they were going to cause the American economy to default on debts we already acquired unless, unless they got deep, deep and substantial cuts. And we ended up with a downgrade because of what the Republicans did. And after that, we set up this thing called the 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 uh, commit the super uh, committee. And when all the Republican members on that super committee had already pledged to Grover Norquist, they would not raise revenue, only do cuts. And then after it failed, as it always was going to, we ended up with. Right, let me ask you a question. I've given no, you no, plenty. I've given said you. I could rant, and oh, I have. I've given and you so, plenty of time to rant, Congressman. Now, we'll now let it's you, we'll let sir, you get a word. Here in. again. Go ahead. Oh, you're so nice to give me a word on my own program. Okay, I, I changed let my me ask mind. you a question. As, as a matter of fact, let me ask you. Let me ask you. You said the president was true, Congressman. Come. I will give you your chance. I gave you three minutes to rant. No, calm down. No, I gave you three problem. minutes. Relax. I've and got a question for you. Are you. You were invited on the program to answer a question. Right. I want to give you a couple questions. You said, no, and I'm gonna, and you I'm said gonna if, uh, Congressman, issue. Congressman, let me ask I'm you a question. What I think is right. Why are you so angry? You're so angry. Let me ask Why you a you question. So angry? I'm not angry. I'm so laughing angry? at you because I think this Why is actually so, comical. I'm at you. All right, here's my question. Here's my question for you. It's not the first time. I'm sure. Listen, I invited you on. I gave you three minutes to rant. Now let me ask you a question. We'll have a discussion. A dialogue in the spirit of bipartisanship. Let's find the dialogue. I want to ask you this. Me? I thought you weren't a Republican. Max, I'm a registered conservative. Lie? I am. Yeah, sir, right. you want to make a thousand dollar bet that I'm a registered conservative? You want to make a ten thousand dollar bet? I don't bet. I don't bet. I'm just telling you, I'm a registered conservative. You can. Buy, I wrote a yeah, book called whatever. Conservative Victory. I didn't write Republican well, do Victory. Do you have a question for me, sir? Yes, I Put do. All me. right, now. First of all, it was Max Baucus and it was Bob Woodward that said that the president requested the sequester, point one. Point number two, my question to you is very simple. Barack Obama, because you said that what he said is the true. Here's my control and Here's my question. Down the Here's my question. The Republican Party. Congressman. Sequester is a provision of the Budget Control Act. Relax. The Republicans are responsible for Here's, the Budget Control Act. Right, 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 I, got it. You know, I, I, I know you're a broken record. Now let me get you to my question. You're a broken record. Okay, thank you. Here's my question. So Barack Obama said in 2008 when he was running for office that George Bush was irresponsible and unpatriotic for 
When he became president, we had $10 trillion in debt. You we now have sixteen trillion. We now have call sixteen call trillion dollars in White debt, House. Congressman. I'm here to speak for myself. Sixteen trillion dollars in debt. About, you want to talk I about? I want to ask okay. you. Do you is want to do something about that? Here's my question. I got an answer for you. You want to do something about the sixteen trillion? Let's do something. Let's close loopholes oh on large corporations. Yeah. Let's say that yachts and jets should not be something you can write off. Let's say that ExxonMobil. And, and Chevron should not get a tax rebate and a subsidy. Let's start there. Let's say that people who are who get to pay less on All right, on, Congressman, uh, you did, you're ranting really well. Well, well, can I well, ask you, you a like question? What I'm you say is I'm it in, here's a simple question. You is it immoral? Is it immoral? Is it immoral to you are put immoral. sixteen to and a half I'm immoral? What did I yes. do that's immoral? I didn't do you anything tell that's immoral. You, you say things that are true. Uh, give me one example, sir. Well, to try to say that it is uh, that it is uh, the president's fault and he is to blame is wrong, and it's a it's lie. Not it's his not his fault true. that we have sixteen it's trillion not. in debt. He didn't add six okay. trillion. No, it isn't. We didn't add no, six no, no. trillion dollars the to president. the debt since he's been president. No, no, no. no you, we no, did no, add six trillion to debt since he's been well, president. What about the other ten? All right. Let's talk about the Congressman, other ten. You are a total waste of time. I'm moving on because our audience yeah. deserves better. Thank you for being with us. I tried to give you a fair shot. And coming up, no, you did